Jen, Monica, as you said, the president will be speaking here in Concord at NHTI. You can see they're already starting to set up for tomorrow's big event in what will be the president's third visit to New Hampshire in just the last year. And it's really just pretty incredible to think about that because leading up to the New Hampshire primary, we didn't see the president at all. Of course, he wasn't on the ballot for that. So seeing him multiple times for official campaign events over the past year has been, uh, you know, a big difference from what we saw before. Now, tomorrow will be an official White House event where the president's expected to talk about his administration's work on lowering prescription drug costs. We've also learned that Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders will be here with the president. But the question is, with so much focus on the swing states, why would the president come here so close to the election, especially with polls showing Vice President Kamala Harris is leading former President Trump by several points here? New Hampshire is sort of at the top of the second tier of swing states is how I've been describing it a lot this year. We're not Pennsylvania, we're not Arizona, but everybody remembers 2016. Nobody wants a repeat of a situation uh, in democratic politics where a uh, state goes narrowly for Trump because it didn't get enough attention from the national campaign. Now, with two weeks to go, at this point, it's still not clear if we'll see any of the other major players from either party before Election Day. We're live in Concord, Ariel Metropolis, WMUR News 9.